Lesson 5-3, Finding Missing Factors in a Multiplication Table. So you have your reteach worksheet here. And when you're using a multiplication chart, your factors are along the side and the top. So you have a factor times a factor and everything inside of here, these are all the products. So if I were to look at two and two and I go to where this row and this column meet, my product of two times two is four. So if I go to six times four and I go down and across, six times four is 24. So it makes it a little bit easier as long as we can find our two products or two factors up here, we can go and find what their product are. So what values make these equations correct? So we have four times three. So if we take four right here and three and we see where they meet, four and three, we should come right to 12. So four times three is 12. Now, we know one of the factors and the product. So let's look at six. And it doesn't matter if you use six up here or six here, because it's a factor times a factor and it doesn't matter which way. So let's just start here. Six, and we wanna know what factor up here that we multiply by will we end at 30. So we just start with one of our factors and we go across until we see 30, which is right here. And then we can just basically go straight up so that other factor is five. So six times five equals 30. So six times what equals 30? Six, find your product of 30 in the middle of the table, go up and it's six times five. What factor times two equals six? One is, here's one of our two. We wanna find what number on the top do we multiply by to get to six? Well, here's six right here. And if we go straight up, that's three. So two and three, they meet at six. So three times two equals six. So find the missing factor in the top row. So let's use this one down here. Now, so we're not gonna use this up here. We're gonna use this down here. Now, um, These are out of, well, maybe, yeah, these are out of order. See, three, something, we don't have one, two, and three, one, four, one, they may be completely out of order. There's ones missing, so we really have to pay attention here. So, so what number, one times some number equals two. So one times some number is equal to two. Well, we have to know our multiplication facts here for this one. So one times two is equal to two. Okay, but again, remember these are completely out of order. Find the missing factor in the first column. So three times what equals 18? So three times six equals 18. Okay, complete the ones rows. So one times three equals Three, and then let's just check one times two equals two and one times five equals five. Now complete the fours row. We already, they already gave us one times five is 20. I'm sorry, four times five is 20. So now we have four times two and that's going to equal eight. And then four times three equals 12. So four times three equals 12. And then here it was four times two is equal to eight. And let's look at the last row. Okay, we know that six times three is 18. Six times two, what number will go here? It should be a 12. And then six times five, what number should go here? should be 30. Okay, so six times five equals 30. And then the other one we worked out was six times two equals 18. Okay, I want you to try the one here on the bottom. Okay, so 
3 times something equals 9. Ask yourself, 3 times what equals 9? You can pause it. Should be 3 times 3 equals 9. And then we should able, now that we know, we should be able to do 3 times 5 and put that answer there. Pause it. That should be 15. Okay, now to figure out this one, we know that five times something equals 35. So count by fives until you get to 35. Pause it and write that number right there. Should be seven. So five times seven equals 35. And now we can fill in this last blank of seven times three equals 21. So write show the equations you used. So you're going to do three times three equals nine. Three times seven equals 21. Three times five equals 15. And you write the last one. Okay. Good job.